You can tell it's Christmas. I've got on my Christmas tie. Merry Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. I'm, you know, some people, some people allege that when I do the show the day after Christmas, he doesn't actually come in the day after Christmas. He pre-tapes that show. Well, I am now going to be able to prove to you that it's... The day after, because we have two audience members who are wearing their Christmas sweaters and they are right here. Gentlemen, please come up. Look at me. Christmas sweaters. There you are. Now, what are your names, gentlemen? Justin. Justin and... Brian. Brian. Justin and Brian, have you guys been enjoying herbal cigarettes this evening? <laughs> Because if you have, this must be really freaking you out! <laughs> now, did you make your own Christmas sweaters? My, fr my friend's mom made it for me. Oh, that's nice. It... No, no, no. no. Who... You gave this one to me. Yeah, the, so, so yeah. she makes Christmas sweaters. They're very nice. Is there anything on the back or is it just Christmas trees? Nope. And then, uh, And then here, this isn't really a Christmas sweater, is it? I made it. You made it? I made it. Yeah, that's it's... Best it's... I ever got. That's nice. And are you guys a couple or, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what'll happen this Christmas? <laughs> Maybe we'll all get something we didn't expect. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be back with a big Christmas Day after Christmas Day show. Craig Ferguson. Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the Late Night Show. I am your host, TV's Craig Ferguson. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. All right. Please, please, please. All right. Thank you. That's enough. That's enough. It's too much. I... I think it's beginning to sound a little bit insincere. <laughs> it's almost as if you had been rehearsed in some way. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Congratulations. Christmas is over. Yeah. <laughs> Look! I got a new tie! Look at that baby! That's oh, that's my Christmas tie. I had one like it. I had one like it just before Christmas, but, <laughs> but this one's completely different. Still get that new tie smell. <laughs> ah. Isn't it great? Christmas is over. You don't have to see your family again till next Thanksgiving. Thank the Lord. I know. Um. I hope everyone had a great Christmas, and for our Jewish friends, the Chinese leftovers in the fridge should still be good. <laughs> I tell you, my Christmas is, was so great this year, I can't even really remember it. It was so fantastic. <laughs> it, all, it almost feels as if it didn't happen at all. <laughs> no, of course it happened. <laughs> I got some great presents this year, but I didn't, I didn't get what I really wanted. What I really wanted was the day off after, you know, the, the day after Christmas. <laughs> if only there were some way of pre-recording a show. Then... <laughs> CBS doesn't have that kind of technology. Anyway, according to the 12 Days of Christmas, the song, you know, the 12 Days of Christmas, or the first day of Christmas, la la la, oh, oh. you know the song I'm talking about? On the second day of Christmas, la la li, oh, 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 oh. Well, today, according to that song, is the second day of Christmas. So this is the day I got two dirtle, dirtle doves. <laughs> two 
Durstle doves. Greg, don't you mean turtle doves? No. Durstle doves. They're like turtle doves, but for vegetarians. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they were delicious. I'll, uh, I'll skip the three French hens uh, and go straight to the maids of milking. <laughs> or, hey, maybe I'll go to the lords of leaping. <laughs> that, that's really trippy, that song, when you think about it. And that's really weird, that song. On well, the first day, like, someone bringing you all that stuff, I'd be like, you're insane! <laughs> Anyway, I opened in the presents yesterday was just great fun. There's torn wrapping paper everywhere in my house. It looks like Santa emptied his bag all over my living room. <laughs> <laughs> You're filthy. I didn't even say anything like that. I am so I am so sorry. I have no idea what that's from. No, but Back in the old country, uh, you know, where I'm from, uh, it's, I know, it's uh, on Chris the day after Christmas, uh, it's called Boxing Day. And it's got its name from uh, donation boxes that were opened after Christmas. Priests would hand out money to the poor. Uh, it's a tradition that I think we can start here in America. The day after Christmas, we could offer help to the needy, the uh, hobos, the banks, the car companies, the people that <laughs> really need our help. Also, do you know what day it is today? Not just the day after Christmas. Although it is certainly that. <laughs> it is also... Oh, knock it off. They know! They know! He's like... No, no, no. You're gonna give it away! They know! They can tape things at home. Listen, they've probably TiVo'd. It's probably the new year by now. <laughs> anyway, it's not just... It's not just the day after Christmas. It is also Phil Spector's birthday today. You know Phil Spector? Oh, come on. <laughs> Phil Spector is awesome. He is America's favorite musical killing machine. <laughs> oh, that's right. He didn't do it. <laughs> CBS doesn't endorse anything I say. You know that, don't you? <laughs> anyway, I was looking on the Wikipedia today, and it says that... Uh, the, um, it says that Phil is 69 today, but Phil says on, on his webpage that he's only 68. I'm going to side with Phil. I mean, you can disagree with Wikipedia and, and it won't pull a gun on you. But if you... <laughs> I know. Phil Spector went crazy with the Christmas decorations this year. Do we have a picture of Phil Spector with his Christmas decorations? Look at that. <laughs> has a birthday today, De to December 26th. <laughs> they know! <laughs> Lars Ulrich from Metallica. Yes, it's his birthday today. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Phil Spector and Lars Ulrich are very different, of course. One is an insane musician who ought to get the electric chair, and the other one is Phil Spector. So right there. <laughs> That's right, Ulrich, I'm calling you out. You... Completely innocent rock god. <laughs> I actually really like Metallica. They've been around for a long time, though. They still rock, though, even though they're getting on a bit. Do we have a recent picture of Metallica? There they are. Aren't they awesome? <laughs> Look at those guys. Mm -hmm. I will, I will be honest with you, I'm kind of glad Christmas is over for another year. There's no more uh, Christmas carols, no more buying presents, no more hanging out under the mistletoe without my pants on. That's a tradition amongst my people. You take your pants off and wait under the mistletoe. For your, for your Christmas surprise. Uh, you know who else is glad Christmas is over? Of course, Santa Claus. He can relax now. He's probably sitting at home in the North Pole. He's North Pole. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still a bit woozy from the eggnog. <laughs> Santa's probably back in the North Pole by now, trying to protect his reindeer from Sarah Palin. <laughs> That's where they live. <laughs> 
<laughs> he used, he could use, like the reindeer could be there and he could use his little elves as shields. <laughs> Santa, don't let the crazy bitch shoot me. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of elves, do you know who has a new movie out today? Tom Cruise. <laughs> comes out today. It's called uh, Valkyrie. In the last few years, that's what it's called. Valkyrie or Valkyrie. Valkyrie or Valkyrie. I don't know. I say Valkyrie, you say Valkyrie. Let's call the whole thing off. But <laughs> the last few years have uh, been very tough for Tom Cruise. He's been very outspoken, which is the show business way of saying he's gone crazy. <laughs> And some people won't go and see his movies anymore because they think he's not likeable. I can't imagine why. But anyway, this, this new movie, this new movie should fix that because he plays in the movie a Nazi. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. You gotta take a break. You gotta take a break. We'll take a break. Uh, no, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Wow, well, look at the time. Look at that time. The day after Christmas. <laughs> Do you know how I remember at the start of the show, at the very, very beginning, I, I introduced the two gentlemen that had uh, their Christmas sweaters on? Well, I just noticed when we were getting it. Come with me, why don't you? I noticed that there's a lady in the front row who's wearing her Christmas boots. <laughs> That's how you know it's Christmas. <laughs> and may I just add on a personal note, thank you, Santa. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the uh, holiday season, of course, is here. It's time to check in and an old friend of the show. Take a look at this. And now, a Sean Connery holiday memory. It was Christmas 1976. I was drinking eggnog through a giant funnel. I must have had too much because when I woke up, it was January the 6th, 1992. <laughs> Do you know what I love about Christmas? Everything. <laughs> I love the sleigh bells and the, uh, the uh, mouse. <laughs> yeah, you know, all through the house, not a creature was stirring, even the mouse. I love that mouse. <laughs> That's a very silent mouse. <laughs> Do you know what I used to not like about Christmas? Was when I was a kid, we used to have to go to um, uh, the church near our school to sing Christmas carols, and we didn't know any of the words. So we just had to go, and then you just throw in the word Jesus every now and again. And you're right. And then you have to remember it's Christmas time, so you go, Jesus, baby, Jesus, swaddling clothes. Yeah. And you know what else I love about Christmas? What could be more traditional than Christmas in America than commercials? Let's have some, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the big day after Christmas show, where we're all still reeling from the Christmas fun we had yesterday. <laughs> they know! <laughs> anyway, I can't be yakking to you about stuff like that. I got some Christmas emails to read. Do we have time for Christmas emails? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Wow! All right. All right. Wow, the 
there's that's your Christmas. There's your Christmas present right there. The email jingle. Wasn't that great? Oh, who needs a movie? Take that, Batman. <laughs> uh, this is from Duncan in, uh, in Denver, in Colorado. I've been there once. You know the thing is about when you go to Denver, you take off from LA and you get the, you're in the plane and the pilot goes, we've reached cruising altitude and we're at Denver. It's very high up. <laughs> Anyway, uh, he says, Craig, why are you on uh, 11.35 p.m. Uh, in Denver, when, but when I visit the East Coast, you have to stay up an hour later to watch the show? Um, <laughs> it's to do with the altitude. Um, we have to put the show on earlier in Denver so that people still have enough oxygen to enjoy the hilarious... <laughs> Live antics. Yeah. Um, all right, this is from Topher in Partyville in Wisconsin. Partyville? Oh, hi! Get me to Partyville. It's time to party. What a great name for a town. Partyville. Man, you know everybody there is just tweaked all the time. It's in Wisconsin, too. They party in Wisconsin. I've been there in Wisconsin. I once played a casino in Wisconsin doing the stand-up comedy. Well, I call it stand-up comedy. People go, who's that guy in the... <laughs> anyway, I was, did this casino in a town called Bowler in Wisconsin. And the casino, they had the dressing room for the stars, was a trailer outside in the parking lot. <laughs> it was Partyville! <laughs> yeah. And I'm not, I'm not talking one of your swanky Hollywood trailers, neither. I'm talking smells like bacon and crystal meth trailer. <laughs> Nothing says Christmas like bacon and crystal meth. I was... Anyway, Topher in Partyville says, Hi, Craig. With you solving all these people's problems in your email segment, you've kind of become the dear Abby of television, wouldn't you say? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Pat in Cincinnati in Ohio. I love Ohio. They've got, I do, I like Ohio very much. They've got Cleveland there. I used to work for a fat guy uh, who come... <laughs> I did. He's very nice, Drew Carey. I love Drew Carey. I know you, no, I do. See, you guys probably think, Drew's my friend. I've known him for a long time. And you probably think, oh, Drew, come on. He's just a big fat guy that likes fried food and strippers. <laughs> Well, he is, and that's what I like about him. He's a decent human being as well, and he knows, and he knows, he knows his way around Partyville. I tell you that. Um, anyway, Pat in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, says, uh, "Hi, Craig. Do you like your sweet potatoes with marshmallows on them or without?" <laughs> without. No, well, you see, when I take, uh, when a sweet potato is sweet enough for me, if you add a marshmallow to that, it's too, too, that's too sweet. And, and I am, you know, my background is Scottish Presbyterian. If we uh, enjoy food too much, we get so guilty that we have to kill ourselves. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Oh, uh, here's one. This is from Sarah in Los Angeles in California. Sarah. I know. Sarah says, Dear Craig, what is your favorite Disney movie? Well, now a lot of people enjoy the, you know, the Lion Kings and uh, all that nonsense. But for me, Disney have never surpassed the time in the 1970s and 80s when they used to have animals that would get separated from their owners and then travel across America to be reunited with them. They made about 150 of these movies. They were all garbage, but I love them. And... There was also a time when Disney, I think this was in the 1960s maybe, when Disney had this whole live action thing going on where they would have, they would get scorpions and film scorpions fighting and then put on barn dance music. <laughs> They're like, deedly, 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 deedly. It's like a fight to the death between these two deadly predators and the music's going, take your partner by the hand, deedly, deedly, deedly. Lion King. Um... <laughs> 
All right, this is... Uh, oh, this is upside down. Let me... It might be from Australia. Let me check. Um, <laughs> surprised myself there. Made myself laugh. This is from Lane in uh, Trenary in Michigan. Trenary. That's a lovely sound and name for a place, isn't it? Trenary in Michigan. You get, you get to Trenary and that's where you take the train to Partyville. <laughs> Uh, Lane says, have you ever seen a youper push an outhouse down Main Street? <laughs> I don't know what that means. So I guess the answer would be no. Or maybe I have seen it and I just don't know that's what I've seen because I don't know. What the hell you're talking about? Listen, I don't want to seem uncharitable at this time of year. I know it's Christmas and everything, but on this show we speak English. It's just what we do. Uh, all right, one more. This is from Alex in Vancouver in Canada. It's my apron. I got my lovely white apron. Why have you got your apron, Craig? It's the day after Christmas. What are you doing with your apron? I'll tell you why. <laughs> because on the day after Christmas, I, I didn't want to do a normal show. I wanted to do a show with my favourite best guests ever on the show. You uh, please welcome uh, Wolfgang Puck and Hello. Kristen Bell. Thank you. Also, what you... Uh, what you probably don't know is that everyone in show business lives in the same house, and we are roommates. Roommates are great. No, Christine and don't me are roommates. You, I never it. saw you there. What happened? I never understand a damn word you're saying. What are you okay. saying? Now? Do you need help? Happy day after Christmas, everybody. I think for your Christmas present, I'm gonna send you to Berlitz to learn English. Well, all right, that yeah, would no, be I, a good I, thing. Then we can speak. No idea what he's saying. All right. <laughs> I think we're gonna call the governor. You know, uh, the governor, no, no, don't do that. No. He has Are the same accent with... as me. He's Austrian. You probably yeah, he, know him. He speaks the same way as I do. Yeah, he that's does. why he has problem in Sacramento. I guess so too. See? <laughs> <laughs> do you do you speak Austrian? No. No, you don't. She looks you like don't. a little Austrian girl, though. Yeah, no, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Have you got little leather shorts that you dance around in? Just say yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, good. <laughs> So what's going to happen? Did you, I got you some lovely presents, everybody, for Christmas, um, but I left them at home. I brought presents. You did bring presents? Yes, no, I you did. did not. Really? I brought presents for both of you. Oh, oh no. Oh, thank you. And I know now it's I a feel good. I didn't bring anything. That's okay. Stop well, you... my face with all this. Yeah, you got the food. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So will you open them now? Yeah. Or wait until next Christmas? Wait until next Christmas. <laughs> I can't wait that long. I'm too Oh, old. lovely. Look. Uh, what is it? I Look. made it. It's oh. fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Look, it's oh, so look kind. Look at that. A fat one. Wow. Now, wow. Wow. Little guy. Wow. <laughs> what happened to mine? What? Like mine is not finished yet. <laughs> Oh, it's a pot holder, now I know. You look very, very dangerous. I am very dangerous. You do. I can't live by your rules, everybody. <laughs> All right. Thank uh, now, you. the reason why these guys are here, of course, is because we want to make a, a lovely after Christmas meal. Traditionally nice after and Christmas. Warm, not oh, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Traditionally I after Christmas, fireproof. everybody has a, the day after Christmas meal. What are you going to cook for us, Wolfgang? What are we well, having? We're going to have some traditional Austrian things, you know. We're going to make a wonderful chestnut soup. We're going to have a duck or goose, which is very traditional in Austria and Scotland, too, as you no, know. No, 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 not in Scotland. We don't have duck or goose. Well, who you have Swan. Have? That's swan. what we have. <laughs> oh, yeah, swan. The cuter, the better. That's what they always say. <laughs> I thought you had ostriches there, no? Ostriches? No. 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 I, that, we, and, no. and then we're going to make some great desserts, some cocombouche, which is like little cream puffs. Say that again? That's my area. Cocombouche, yeah, all right. Yeah. Cocombouche. Co co cocombouche. Like with some angel hairs on them, cocombouche. Mm. And we're going to make some Lebkuchen, which is a traditional Austrian spice cake, which we make little figures out Lebkuchen. and decorate. Yeah. That's my fa I love Lebkuchen. All right, actually. I've never tried it. Really? Yeah. It's Austrian for lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you might have, actually, <laughs> maybe. 
Um, so, all right, what we make? Uh, wait, I'm right, a vegetarian. Well, you can't eat the duck. I'm well, not going to eat the duck. All right, okay. okay. But we we <laughs> actually making the soup just for Kristen here. You see, I have some Thank apples, you. some onions, some quince in here. And it smells so good. It and does. It smells very good. good. Yeah, and the thing is, here are the chestnuts. Now, I peeled them already for you. You know, you have to bake them in the oven, open them, and then... You, you do that very well. You've held nuts before. Then they come out really? like that. Look at that. How nice. Here. All right. And then, what, are, what is that? Is that a little, the brain of a little animal? It's a little what chestnut. That? <laughs> oh, it is. It's a chestnut. Do you want a chestnut? Oh, you all right. This? So you have this when I, I breathe You saute it. that. In, it's not cooked yet. It's not cooked yet. Wait. Oh. And we're we going to add a few cranberries if you want well, to. Out. So it's apples and cranberries and chestnuts? Uh-huh. Well, all going? right, everybody. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, fine. I good. I just had to spare my okay. chestnut. Okay, a little salt and pepper. And a little touch of sugar if you want to. Mm. A little touch of cream. Oh, cream. And some yeah. chicken stock or water, whatever you have at home. And you boil it and then just blend it. So it's really easy and it's delicious to eat. Now, for the main course, we always make well, a good soda. When is order. that going to be ready? This is, I have one ready for you here already. Because well, you, just you, it. you just puree it. You see the red thing? Give you this color here. The, the cranberries in here. The we puree it. We do, do you don't give me two hours like the Food Network, oh, so, right, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys, guys. All right. All right now, all right. for the main course, I brought you some ducks, oh. so oh, you can okay. prepare them. <laughs> and what you're laughing. You didn't tell me. I, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I brought two. So you're going to empty them. and Empty then them? I'm not emptying a duck for you or anyone else, mister. All right, I will. I'll you I'll just take out. Sometimes it has a little labor or the stomach still in. Feet. You cut their little the feet. The feet, but, but you still yeah. have the head. Oh. <laughs> you, no, I, that's you, it's. You'll have the animal rights people on us. No, for no, no, sakes. not at all. You okay, you, you no, can no, cut. I, here. Oh, oh, you're gonna oh, have the head here. Oh. <laughs> no, put it away. The put it there. there. All right, here. Oh, sakes. That's oh, no. no you don't to humiliate everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. You point, yellow handy. All right. You, you don't have to humiliate him. He's already. Yes. He's exactly. already. Now you take, put all the ingredients what's here. What's inside him? Well, the liver, the stomach, and everything. But that's his. That's what's normally inside him on a daily yeah, basis. Yeah, always. You always have to empty them out because a lot of people cook their animals like turkeys, chicken, and they forget to take out Cats. the liver. They forget to take out the stomach and everything. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then it tastes bitter. All right, go on. I'm making right. the soup here. You remember that. What do you? What about vegetarians? Do they have to take things out sometimes? Maybe the inside of a yeah, squash. Then we're gonna stuff them with apples. <laughs> then we're gonna stuff. Okay, go ahead. Oh. What are you waiting for? Oh, all right. Okay. What do I do? Just put take my everything out. No, you take <laughs> the whole hand. What do you mean? My whole hand. Yeah, it yeah. won't bite you. <laughs> this is better than I could have imagined. <laughs> can I use a fork to do it so I don't? Feel all right, you can use it? whatever you want. I don't. Wait a minute. What the heck is this? Look. Wait, oh, it's my hell? telephone. Oh. Oh. Just in case, I have to call my wife. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> But now, these are his real organs? Yeah, like they're the real organ, too. Yeah, no, that's not a normal. That's a telephone. Just, but oh, there's other oh, stuff in here, that. too. It's the It doesn't smell. All right, take all right. it out. Take out everything. All right, I'm taking it out. I've got the phone out. Why does all his organs look the same? Because it's the liver. All right. Oh, the, it's, it's all Yeah, how the liver looks like. <laughs> Okay, well, why I'm not does he very have happy so about this at all. Because because with the chestnut soup? That's a healthy duck. He I, has you, a good liver. How you know, many livers is this? Okay, you know, this is one whole liver. Too many. No, 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 no. Well, that way is you this, have enough. Is this actually what the duck died of? The yeah. bad liver? No, he has a good liver. He's a happy guy. Mm. So now we're gonna mix our apples here. You're very gory for a vegetarian, <laughs> if you don't mind it. No, no, thank you. No. What is it? Okay, you can eat it. Mm, I don't want to. Okay, I don't I want that. I'll give you a hundred bucks if you try it. Uh, what what did, what did she promise me? I forgot. She promised she'd make out with you if yeah. you ate leather. Yes! <laughs> yes, she did! you got to make out now. Come uh, on. Uh, okay. Well, let's go behind the desk Brush over there. Teeth. Brush your teeth. In the kitchen. Brush okay, good. <laughs> okay, that's easy. He's hollow. This guy's hollow. Okay, this All guy's right. hollow. Now you put the apples in here. All right, well, listen, we got to stuff the... We'll put apples inside ducks and we'll take a break and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. We'll be right back. Uh -huh. we'll guy my day after Christmas gift. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody.
the holidays. I can see everyone's oh, excited. Is the isn't it such fun? I love the day after Christmas. Maybe even a little more than Christmas itself. Yeah. Yeah, this is the day we celebrate the one-day birthday of the baby Jesus. Oh, boy, I didn't know about him. <laughs> is he really ready? I don't want to talk about I this. think the duck... <laughs> why, why we don't celebrate the duck? The so, duck so, is ready. Yeah, I the think the duck so. Is that's ready. more important right, than the little, little baby. Birthday. Now, look at that. You, you cook the duck, and it comes wow, out nice. Wow, look at that. It's, there's your taste. A beautiful yeah. duck. And we always in Austria, because it's the holidays, a little firework after. Okay. All right, be careful. It's very hot. All right. Are you going to... All right, a little more. All right, see? And... <laughs> You don't see that smell of burning animal and alcohol and, and flames? That was like me in the 80s. For like the, whole, <laughs> hey, all right. the whole time. All right. And then we put it on our beautiful table here, on our beautiful bladder, oh, and bring it just look like at that. that. Look yeah, at that. That's lovely. Look at that. Look at that. All right. And now... You can eat round the sides. You can eat the apple. The well, maybe not on his... I won't eat his Don't headrest. eat the apple that his head I'm is touching. I'm going to eat his headrest, but I'll eat yeah, the I, other I'll save you the head. Now we're going to make dessert. It's always important for the holidays to have great dessert. dessert. Very important. And we have Sherry Yard here, our pastry chef. Our Sherry famous Yard, the yeah. famous pastry chef that works in this smooth guy's many Beverly restaurants. Hills. Look at that. Here hello, she is. Sherry. All right. Hey. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, suddenly things got a little more interesting. Uh, uh, you got excited Kristen, now. Kristen, follow me! <laughs> All right, we already have doing? one here, the Chef Craig, as you can see, right here. Oh, well, do I get to... You look excellent as a chef. Now. Oh, oh that's you! Oh, it's adorable! <laughs> oh, look! I'm, I'm different to the way I am. Uh, but it's the wrong one, probably. Do I put chocolate on this or on my actual self? Huh? As you wish. That's your wish. On your can actual you just squirt this in your mouth? Come on. Yeah, wherever you want. Are you really doing it? This one's sure, crazy. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Here, try this one. What was that one? This then? one's cream. Mmm, <laughs> excellent. It's good. Give it a little. <laughs> now, you're watching the finish. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take it there. You're welcome, America. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try that one. This now, one's you not know, working. Don't invite Craig in, uh, to your house for dinner. He eats all the, all the food before anybody sits down. It. I didn't put my finger on What do you need us to do? All right, you, all right. You, can finish, you can finish Craig if you want. All right, then. <laughs> oh, that's right. Go on, then. <laughs> Go on. Give Just the gingerbread man a pee-pee. <laughs> Just don't make it too small. No, I'll give you. I'll give you some chaps. Give me some chaps, all right, and I'll give me a scar. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that, ladies. Uh, and me. What? What the hell is that? Chaps, like cowboy chaps. Oh, okay. cowboy. A cowboy. A These great are, cowboy. Gingerbread. All right, well they have to have something connecting them. <laughs> oh, 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 good. What okay, else? how about that? Lovely. How about a headband? A yeah, headband. headband. Yeah. How about some ears? I think he needs some oh, ears. ears. Yeah, you do one ear that side, and I'll do one okay. ear side. And there. some drool. Yeah. Hey, that's and enough. <laughs> He's got a cauliflower ear. All right, now, so this is the dessert we've made. I hope you're all learning a lot about how to make your own gingerbread. Now, you, you know, when, when Craig appears on the Food Network, everybody going to tune in. I, I can see I'm it coming on already. I'm all about it. Kristen and I want to do a show. Yeah. Yeah. A food about, Network show. A yeah. Food Network a food show. show. Well, let's start this one. A little Craig here. All right, then. I'll do this one. Wait, 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 wait. wait. And, and, no, I'll do Kristen. I'll do Chris one of you. Okay, and I'll do one of you. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Now we'll see. Yeah, all right. Here's one of Kristen. Lovely blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> Is this one really not working? Can I not use brown? No, Paul, what you want to see, make it red. Okay. In, in, in Scotland, they have a lot of redheads anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> Black eye. White eyes. I will have just... We'll just eat. Can I... Can I, I know. Can I, have, can I have the red? I need the red to do your lips. <laughs> I, th I think I'm going to bring my three-year-old to decorate too. Okay, okay, now you're maybe. talking, I'm going to draw you with your nice hat that I got okay. you. All right. There's you, Kristen. What do you think? Oh, oh. Good job. You think it's awesome. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> Thank you. Look, I got that one that's a different size from the other one then. 
And this is Craig because after I beat him up. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, that, All right, okay, so that, gingerbread man. What's that lovely now, dessert? Sherry <laughs> is making a big kokombush. These are these cream puffs. What's that called? Cream puffs. Cream puffs. Cream puffs. Yeah, normally you fill them with this. See, you put, stick you this in here. Cream. All right. I might add them. Push it. Oh, yeah, and you put cream in there. Put cream in there as it come out. Okay, now you can eat them. Taste oh, yeah, them. No, now you know, got... ladies first, do you? Yeah. Look, I got That's, that's all right. It's yeah, edible. There you go. That's good. It's very good. Isn't so it? It has really? a little caramel that's sugar. <laughs> that's a surprise because sometimes on cookery <laughs> segments, people eat stuff and go, mmm, tastes like crap. <laughs> but not that's like an hour show. What's the matter with you, Craig? Oh, Only the best. That is you, awesome, Craig. actually. I want to just eat them all day. Eat but you know. Oh, man. Next time you come, if you invite Craig, all you have to do is hamburgers normally. So today we have an yeah, elaborate dinner. Yeah, you didn't bring any little hamburgers today. Not every day, not every day. You know, I like the little hamburgers because I hold them and they make my hand look huge. <laughs> That's good. That's nice. But the then you end things. up eating so much more of it. Yeah, I know. You end up eating seven, like you're at White uh -oh, Castle. Oh, so or yeah, but you don't because you're a vegetarian. All right, we better go on with the cookery. Um, okay, all right. Now, Sherry... Oh, look, you've like given it hair. Yeah. yeah. Now, there's our angel hair. Oh, that's lovely. Look, you're, you're, I'm like the fairy we, on the Christmas tree. Oh, I'll be back to it. Look at that. Not perfect. Craig, that's oh, sugar. Oh, all right. I don't mind sugar in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> now... Oh! Now, you know, this is the best... Christmas ever! Now that's what we call in Austria sugar daddy, you know? Sugar daddy, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have to walk around very carefully. Like this. Like Cape Blanchette in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm acting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All Excellent. right. Uh, okay. Actually, I've already got a hat. You can't use this now because it'll have. No, no, it's okay. My it's okay. Cooters, Don't worry. Cooters, boogers. What are they called? Cooties. 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 What's cooties? Uh, um, uh, I think you have to finish. Don't you gonna finish, Kristen? Or what? No shoes? No, no, no nothing. Oh yeah, I'll give her some shoes. Yeah. Hold some on. high uh, heels. I'm gonna make your eyes real bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think we've all learned something uh, here, and, everybody. A little Picasso. Uh, look at please that. thank my guests, Wolfgang Puck, Sherry Yard, thank and you. the adorable Kristen Bell. Uh, we'll be back next day after Christmas, everybody. Yeah, next day yeah, after yeah, Christmas. Yeah. Oh, after the commercials, I mean. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> hey, that was rude when that cat did that. Do you know what I learned? I learned that the day after Christmas Day is my favorite day of the year, Kristen. It's a nice day. It's a lovely day. And you know, Beautiful day. Wolfgang's gone now, which is great because... <laughs> 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 because now it's just you and me. And I could talk to you about the, you know, the, the gingerbread lady I made of you. The girl's Don't. gone wild gingerbread lady you made of me. <laughs> the girl's but look, he's left cookies and stuff. Do you want anything? Did we, can we eat them? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what they are, though. Well, this one looks good. Yeah, all right. I'll try that. Um, I think what we've learned mm. is that... Um, what was that thing Wolfgang made? Coco coconut bush? Coco bush. I don't remember the names. No, neither do I. But it oh. was delicious. And also the sugar is beginning to hit really big time now. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to crash. Well, you know what happens is... When I eat sugar, I get very excited, and then I fall asleep. That's a normal, a pretty normal human reaction to it. it not just when sugar, if, either. If you keep eating sugar. What? You know what I learned? What? That a duck has 32 livers. <laughs> <laughs> and no other organs. <laughs> That's what makes them, you know, so aerodynamic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you know, everybody ducks knows... Ducks don't fly. Yeah, they do. What about Make Way for Ducklings, the famous book where the ducks fly? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I Chick think... Chickens don't fly. Chickens don't fly, ostriches don't fly, but ducks can't get enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much right now. All right, have a great Christmas, everybody. We'll see you.